hello hello welcome back to another video my name is Gemma today I am very excited because I am bringing you my first original tag when I say my first original tag really this was the brainchild of Emily at Nobel Novels and then me and Danny from Danny's Book World who are co-hosting a read along with our lovely Emily we decided that we would make this a joint tag and we came up with some questions and answers together and we're bringing it to you today. So without any further waffle, preamble, general bollocks, this is the six Tudor Queens tag. So there are six questions plus a bonus question. Um, I will run through them and then I'm going to tag a heap of people. So question number one. Catherine of Aragon, a book that was your first love. Now, I don't know how many times I can waffle about this book on my channel, but The Hobbits by J.R.R. Tolkien is absolutely my first love. My dad read this to me when I was a kid. I reread it a couple of years ago, last year, year before, and it is, it is a delight. And it was definitely the book that made me fall in love with fantasy. So The Hobbit is the winner of the first question. Question number two, Anne Boleyn, a book with a manipulative character. The book with the most manipulative, conniving, backstabbing, two-faced character that I can think of is um, Gone with the Wind and Scarlet O'Hara. So if you've read this book or seen the film, I've never seen the film to be fair, but if you've read this book, you'll know what I mean. This character is a piece of work. It, she is really interestingly written. She is a fantastic character to read, but my God, did I want to punch her in the face. So yeah, that's my answer for this one. Question number three, Jane Seymour, a book that delivered what you wanted. Um, and for this, I'm going to go for The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clune. So I read this book after it had been quite hyped on booktube. Everyone was like, oh my God, it's such a warm cuddle of a book and it's just so wholesome and it's so lovely. And I was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll give that a go. Not my usual jam, let's be honest, but I, I felt in need of a literary cuddle. So I picked it up and I was not in any way, shape or form disappointed. This book was indeed a wholesome cuddle of a book and I absolutely adored it. So it definitely delivered everything that I wanted. Question number four, Anne of Cleves, a book that wasn't what you expected. And for this, I'm gonna go for Tender is the Flesh by Agostina Bazterica. I waxed pretty lyrical about this last year, but I don't think I've mentioned it at all this year. So let's drop it in now. So this is a sort of dystopian horror. And I'll be honest, I didn't really know what to expect to go going into it i picked it up for um women in translation month I'd, I'd heard that it was quite good and it was intriguing and it was quite short so it fit the gpr and my god it blew my mind um, so in this world people eat human meat because animal meat is no longer edible uh, and we follow the assistant manager of a human abattoir and i think that's all you need to know going in but yeah. Question number five, Catherine Howard, a book that irritated you. So for this, I'm going to go for The Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley. Uh, I was quite disappointed with this book. This is a historical romance. If I'm honest, I hadn't done too much research before I picked it up. So all I knew was that it was historical. I didn't realise how heavy on the romance it was going to be. And I found it pretty irritating in quite a lot of places, particularly around com plot conveniences. I hate plot conveniences. They really annoy me. And uh, it's like, oh, and then that just happened, did it? Did it really? We shall leave that there. But yeah, that one irritated me. Romance in general irritates me, if I'm honest, because I'm a cynical, pessimistic bastard. So question five, Catherine Parr. A book that was published after the death of the author. So, for this, I'm going to go for The Odyssey by Homer. Certainly, the translation was published after Homer died, but I believe this was a play before it was 
written into a book format so this is what I'm going with this is what I'm going with and for anyone who doesn't know the Odyssey basically follows Odysseus as he travels home from the Battle of Troy to his home in Ithaca <laughs> sorry if you heard that that's Rudy purring okay so someone needs a cuddle <laughs> and I very much enjoyed um the Odyssey certainly much more than I enjoyed the Iliad and so the bonus question is Henry VIII a chunky book that you hated <laughs> and so for this I'm going for um, Jonathan Strange and Mr Norell by Susanna Clark uh, so that book was like over a thousand pages and it started off okay but honestly I could barely tell you what it was about now because I was so bored I just zoned out and that was probably the last book that I pushed myself through, even though I wasn't enjoying it. After that, I was like, right, I'm DNF in books, because I could have finished so many good books in the time it took me to like struggle through that. Um, so thank you very much to Jonathan Strange for making me want to DNF books. But I wish I had DNF that a lot sooner. Or at all, in fact, at all. And having read Piranesi since, uh, which is Susanna Clarke's second book and also really not liking it. Um, I think I can safely say that it's just her writing style that doesn't gel with me at all. So those are the seven questions. Quite a quickie, quite a quickie. So no excuses to all the people I tag. Um, so I'm going to tag Scott and Nell from Gunpowder Fiction and Plots. Jolene from Bookworm Adventure Girl, Shelley from Shelley Swearingen, Gloria from Gloria Z. Thompson, uh, Sandy from Miss Reads A Lot, Heather from Reading With a Vengeance, Fraser Simons, Leah Bancroft, AJ Dunn, Reads and Writes, Lisa in Bookland, Teacup the Storyteller, Coiny Reads, Jennifer Loves Books, and Margaret Pennard. So it goes without saying, I really highly rate every single one of those booktubers that i've just tagged um so go and check their channels out they'll all be linked below and yeah there isn't really any pressure i'll just cry quietly if you don't do my tag <laughs>